Hello everybody, Rusty Ground here. Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. Um, I went ahead and uh, sold everything I, uh, I looted in the previous episode. And I also uh, took the uh, Tesha Mutna armor um, and placed it in my stash at uh, Corvo Bianco. Uh, so now we're going to meet uh, Anna Henrietta at the guard post in the district, in the port district. Let's see. Let's see why she wants to meet here. Sorry about that. My mistake. She's uh, still undercover, I presume, right? How the hell do I... Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, okay. The Ducal Guardsman, okay. Her grace awaits inside. Thank you. Here at last. We lack only Damien now. I'm worried something might have happened to him. Uh-oh. Captain seems like a man who can take care of himself. Perhaps he can, but this Cintrian appears to be no common bandit. He managed to steal ducal wine from under my guardsman's gnosis. We only learned of it through a fortunate coincidence. And it was he who specified the victims for the vampire. One must be exceptionally confident to blackmail such a monster. Hmm. Sooner or later, everyone slips up. Sintrian stole the Sun Real. That was his mistake. Yet if we had not happened on the wine stain... You're right. We got lucky. Even so, still can't be sure he's behind the kidnapping, the blackmail. Need to find the Sintrian, whether or not he's responsible for the murders. Even if none of it's his doing, he could still know our blackmailer's identity. Mm -hmm. Besides, it's one thing to know who ordered the killings. Other thing entirely and just as important is why they. Someone's coming. Nope. Oh, here we go. Captain, why so long? You were worried about him. We expected him. you hours ago. This Centrian does not work alone. We are fighting an organization. Whoa. Okay. Man. So my presumption Bandits was wrong, us. right? Not a small force either. One of my boys has a broken arm, another a shattered knee, lamed for life. Jesus, okay. And the word on the street is there's a hefty bounty on your head, Geralt. Is there? <laughs> eh, I don't think it was the first time, yeah. Used to I've it. I've heard that. Not the first time I've been hunted. <laughs> Must you always? Now, <laughs> the port warehouse where the wine was delivered, we identified it, then learned who had hired it out. Mm -hmm. This proved to be a beggar, a stand-in. We found him. He admitted all. A man had paid him to sign the lease, a man he met while begging outside the pheasantry. There, fate lent us a hand. A waitress recalled spilling wine on a nobleman who spoke with a Cintrian accent. What did he look like? Her description was not helpful. Handsome, well-dressed, with a beard. No <clears throat> distinguishing marks. Very... This could be anyone. With a beard, but oh, she wait remembered a his female companion very well, as she recognized her. On the Cintrian's arm was Cecilia Bellant. The singer? I've heard of her. She said to be gifted. Fairy. The same. We went to her home immediately. Cecilia was not there, but we questioned her servants. A chambermaid claimed Cecilia is to meet a Cintrian gentleman tonight. Oh, she invited here we go. him to a reception mounted by the Mandragora. What is the Mandragora? The Mandragora? What's that? A club. An affiliation of local artists. Painters, sculptors, troubadours and dancers. Never heard of it. They exude a mystique. Consciously, I think. Behaving like an exclusive cabal. Artistic elites. Every now and again they mount soirees. Only wealthy patrons are invited. Mm, that would be a good place All for dandelion. elaborate masks, then drink and flirt. I see. 
Well, we need to grab the Sintrian, so... Gotta nab the Sintrian. Seems we have to go to that get-together. You read my mind, Witcher. I shall gather my men. Surround the establishment. Not a mouse will squeeze through. Out of the question. If the Sintrian truly does have men about the city, he will find out and escape once again. Duchess is right. Need to be careful. Best go there, blend in with the crowd. So we're going Precisely to a party? What we shall do. We, your grace. Geralt and I. In that sort of company, the Witcher could use my help. Uh-huh. Where's the event going to be held? The Mandragora always assembles at the same place. A residence in Oatville. It's a very distinguished district. Geralt, you must don appropriate attire. Uh, of course. Then meet me in Oatville, in Mountebank Alley. Mm-hmm. I think the captain's gonna get a little bit jealous. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> Did you see that? We, uh... What? Be cautious. Guard her grace closely. I will, I will. Okay, jeepers. Okay, so we need to put on some clothes that uh, Anna Henrietta considers appropriate before we... Rat the but we'll get in. Okay. Mm. I should okay. double the patrols, just in case. What did we... We got a book there. What is? What was that book? Book. Oh, there's nothing. Okay. Okay, well, I guess we're going to a party. Haven't been to one in a while, right? So... Let's see what Don't Anna Henrietta deems city. as appropriate attire. What is this? Case 1, Armed Adelard. What is this here? Name unknown, age unknown, appearance. Witnesses describe him as a man of average height and a muscular, boxy, even build. Dark eyes, nose clearly has been broken repeatedly. Uh, distinguishing marks, arm cut off below the elbow. Adelard usually covers his stump with a sleeve of his shirt or coat. Sometimes he wears a prosthetic. Area of operations, primarily Hotville, but it is suspected he has contracts throughout Beauclair. One armed Adelard is suspecting of forging at least 50 paintings along with their certificates of authenticity. Said paintings can be found in the collections of the private collectors defrauded by Adelard. The forgery was uncovered due to an error on the part of the fraudster. One of his middlemen offered to sell count de Boussou, uh, Be Belhaven Fields. The Countess immediately alerted the guard, for he had just tried to sell her a painting which has been in her family for generations. Whoopsie. Okay. Let's just uh, let's just be on our way and find. I'm assuming that we need to go. Whoa, night has. Okay, that's interesting. So. We need to go here to put on some clothes, okay? Let's go. I need to get dressed first. What the hell? Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Wait a second. Kill the dog. God damn it. Were those men and what did they want? Look like locals. Indians, right? I'm a hunted man. Okay, so they were after me because I I thought I heard something like there he is, get him and. Uh, yeah, okay. 
contract on the Witcher. Here we go. Oh, and it has even our, like, that's a very well good drawing of us. It even has the medallion drawn. Okay. Okay. Let's just put this back. Actually, let me just do this for a second here. Uh, let's put this onto here, and then... Spectres and Draconids, huh? Whoa! And vampires. We have everything in here. We have, like... Okay. So... Yeah, just leave it like that for now. If you've one jock of wine and one friend... Drink the jock of wine and send the friend for another. <laughs> Am I going the right uh, in the right direction? Yeah. Oh, sorry, didn't want to do that. Whoops. Come on, we need to find this place fast. It's actually... Our... Let's go. It's here somewhere. Where is it? Come on. Yeah, it's right here. Yep, it should be Taylor's workshop. Um, I think we've been here bef Have we been here before? Oh, hello there. Ah, welcome back oh yes, to I remember you. Dandy. We played Gwent with you. Yes, we did. Okay. Um, let's uh, like to try something on. All just aside. Let me see what you got in your wardrobe. I'm more than willing, sir. Okay, here we go. What the hell? Elegant Beauclair doublet. Elegant Bo Bo Beauclair boots. And then... Elegant Beauclair trousers. Let's go with the Beauclair uh, thingy. So... One... Two... Three... Elegant... Nilfgaardian shoes? No, you don't have any shoes. Okay, and I'll... I'll don't I have a wolf mask on, though? Yeah, I do have a wolf mask on, so I'm not gonna... I am not going to get another one. I'm going to get these things. That'll be for now. Thanks. I think that's all I need for now. Ever your servant, sir. And probably put them on, I guess. Just to see how they look. Oh, yeah, definitely. Is that it? No... We're just gonna go like that? I guess we are. Okay. What is that note? Is it of no importance whatsoever? Come on, where is the note that we just looted? Oh, it's here. Okay, never mind. It's a junk. It's a junk item. Royal lineages of the north. Nope. Don't need that. Um, okay. Let's just go. Hopefully nobody else is going to attack us. Cause it's going to be nasty. Okay, where is this thing? Uh, boom. There, okay. Let's go. This should be... This should be quite interesting. I'm uh, very eager to meet the Centrion. 
If we are going to meet the Sintrian, that is. Reginald Aubrey has returned. Not to be missed. Buy your tickets now. Because I'm curious to see why. Um. Wait a second. What? Oh, here we go. Late. Now, why does that not surprise me? <laughs> Sometime later. Okay. Well, she did need to get ready, right? So... I can't really blame her for being late. Come on, Geralt. There she is. Oh, hello there. Well, well. I did not expect you to have such a sense of style. Oh, thank you. Not all bad. Nothing like a budding artist, of course, but... <clears throat> just one other detail. Here, put it on. The mask? The mask. Damn it, I forgot All them, who attend the... the Mandragora soiree wear them. If you have one on, oh, no one asks She gave us a different mask. Okay. Why do they wear masks? Don't they know each other? Masks? Likely because they imagine it oh so very romantic and mysterious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The truth is far simpler. This way, no one can tell which drunken aristocrats are pinching the performers. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Soiree started. Mm -hmm. Wise of you to hide your weapons. They'd not have let us in otherwise. That's certain. Yeah, okay. I hope they're still there when we finish this. <laughs> oh, quite, How do we uh, find this Intrian? Quite the queue, huh? Plan? He is not to spook him. Need to ask after his partner, Cecilia, first. Less likely to raise suspicions. As soon as we find her, we find him. Especially since he might be expecting us. What do you mean? Ran into some of his thugs in town. Knew who I was. Had it in for me. Mm-hmm. Right. Right you are. We must proceed with caution. Come, it's our turn. Let's go. Madame, Monsieur, an extraordinary pleasure to welcome you to the Mandragora Soiree. Tonight, I particularly recommend you direct your attention to the performances prepared by artists of our community. Um... Can you tell me more about these performances? Tell us about these performances. This evening, the Mandragora has the honor to present three superb displays of artistry. The first was a concert by Cecilia Belont, a singer whose voice, were it stone, would surely be a diamond. Sadly, Mademoiselle Cecilia has sung. Shame. Oh, ready? Already? Uh, luckily, you are in time to see the great Calesti. A master of visual illusions come to us from far off a fear. Visual illusions. Interesting. And the third artist? Uh, the third and fourth, for they are a duo, are the Tuven brothers, presenting their newest pantomime. Mm -hmm. Okay. We were really hoping to meet Cecilia Ballant. You are admirers, I surmise. I'm certain you will have ample opportunity to converse with her. It cannot be easy to identify anyone in this crowd. Perhaps you could help us find her. Hmm. He I has the same earrings as now, the Duchess. Did but you, I can give you, you a see clue? that? <laughs> Let's hear it. Seek the Kaviri Orchid. Meaning? Cecilia wears one in her hair. You shall recognize her easily by the Orchid. Kaviri Orchid, okay. Well, we do well, have our well, witcher senses. The lion's always complaining about artists being poor as temple mice. <clears throat> Let's have a look at this. The residence belongs to none of them. They are guests here. Oriana, she owns this. Mm -hmm. Woman in the black dress. There, on the balcony. Got her. Doesn't wear a mask. It would be pointless. All would know her anyway. Mm -hmm. Kaviri Orchid. Let's look for it. If we find Cecilia, we'll find the Cintrian. Take part in the soirees entertainment. So, oh, I think I will. Thank you very much. 
Put your own house in order first. Whoa, okay. I just wanted to, you know, get something off the plate. What do we have here? The birth of Ludovic. Okay. The first steps of Matilda. Mm, yes, I see. Mm, such artistry. Mm. The conception of Edward. Oh, the, the colors are, are so bright. Well, since we're here... Woo. Oh my god, are you okay? Jesus, this guy. Oof. Had a little bit too much to drink. Get some fish. Let's get some uh, dried fish and some chicken pate, whatever. No need for more uh, for more wine. We have enough wine as it is. Now, what do we have here? This is definitely done. Let's go. Your um, no effort What am I missing? It's a metaphor of the constant struggle for power and influence. There is something No. What else would they think of? No. If they can't agree, they ought to cut the line. Whoa! What? Wait a second. <laughs> ah, funny. Funny. The mines. Okay. Go on, Geralt. Be bold. Show us. Go on, Geralt. Be bold. Show us the artist in you. The paintballs. Cast them at the canvas. What? Okay. Is it here? Good folk. Yet another soul longing to express its creative side. Wait a second. You want another one? Boom. It's obvious. It represents the I got it. It's the solid fire. It's not a landscape. Come on. It's a manifestation of the man's soul. This all ice. Um, oh, I need to... Okay, 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 I know what you're saying here. I can make art, right? Like that. And then just grab some um, other balls. Anna, Henrietta, can I, can I just please go grab the red balls now? No? Green paintballs. That green, lush and verdant as a field of vines. Oh, quite the note. Um, splendid. Splendid, I know, right? That's what I was thinking. That was exactly what I was thinking, that it is splendid. Okay, and the last three paint balls, the red ones. Let's go. Boom. And of course, the last one is going to be right here. Here we go. Allow me a moment to ponder. The painting depicts spiritual dualism. The continual battle between good and evil, and defiance. <laughs> hmm. Oh yes, that's him all right. Good versus evil. The dualistic nature of man. It's actually a map, guys. It's actually a map. I'm surprised you don't see it as a map. It's actually like Europe and Asia. Like, I don't know. How can you not see that? But whatever. <laughs> what do we have here? I'm not very sure. Oh, I can drink. Okay. Ooh, absinthe. Damn, haven't had that in a while. Oh, it sure does.
Damn, it does pack a punch, but not for long, because Geralt is quite... resistant uh, when it comes to drinking. Um, what else do we have here? I believe he's casting spells. Yeah, we'll see. What? Wait a second, where are the rest of the activities? Here we go. Still waters. What are these guys doing? Well, never. What are ign Oh, here we go. Let's give it a try. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Such things. Nice. They say releasing them brings good luck. The dolphin. Okay, okay, luck okay. Is no ordinary illusion. The man is a true artist. Mm -hmm. Impressive. What is she talking about? I'm not. Come on. Damn it! I cannot move. Whoa! Easy, easy there. Oh, there we go. Now I see. Ah, okay, okay. It's the guy over there. That's right. This guy. Look at this guy. This guy over here. Look at that. He has his own laser show, doesn't he? Huh? Nice. Okay, okay. Well, now... Let's uh, search the alcoves for a woman with a Kaviri orchid, orchid in her hair. I was for all what is that here? Fragment of the script of a stage play. The Besotted Witcher. Uh oh. Night thick as mud envelops a dense wood. A full moon hangs in the sky above the trees. Notes. Scenography must include a representation of the full moon. Wolves howl plain in the distance a witcher walks through the woods in careful measured strides he wields a silver bl silver blade in his hands gods damn all the moon is at its fullest long have I awaited this night three weeks have I spent in that foul pit all to catch a lone werewolf at last the miller's daughter helped me while away the time while away the time uh, in fact, in, f in fact, I leave only with a certain sense of regret. Perchance I should take her with me? We hear the snap of breaking behind the Witcher. He turns around swiftly, his guard raised, he spies the werewolf. I've got you now, beast! Arr! Furious roar. The werewolf removes its mask. The Witcher can see it is the Miller's daughter. He is astonished, does not know what to do. Miller's daughter... Well, what now? Will you kill me? Or perhaps, perhaps you'll take me with you. Okay, that's... So much time I spent polishing that one man play. Blah, blah, blah. Affront guard, schmaffront guard. It's all about two things. Coin and copulation. <laughs> okay. Need I remind you that neither did you. Maybe she... Whoa. Nope, she's not here. Just a drunk. Okay. Maybe she's here. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Do not disturb. Shoo, shoo. Mm -hmm. It's the right flower. It sure is. Of course it is. A Koviri orchid lends just the right contrast to her complexion. Need to talk to your model. It'll only take a minute. To me? Lie still! You may speak, but for love's sake, do not move. <laughs> Lovely portrait. Wow. Impressive portrait. I know the style, the stroke. This is Dorian Villes. The gracious lady has heard of me? I... I've heard Anna Henrietta herself wished you to paint her portrait once. Ah, uh, at one point the palace chamberlain even wrote to me, but alas, ultimately refused my terms. Mm -hmm. What was the matter? 
When he learnt I only F paint nudes, he suffered all contact. He said he would not dare offend her illustrious highness with such a proposition. I've always longed to paint her such a shame. I think... Okay. You may still get your chance. <laughs> oh, Anna Henrietta, you want... Uh, you want him to paint you nude, huh? Interesting. So, um... Uh, is this Cecilia Bellante? We came here to meet you, specifically. To meet me? But why? Cintrian Noble you came here with. Wanted to ask you about him. Cintrian Noble? Ah! You must think I'm Cecilia. Damn. What? Orchid uh, confused me. I told you not to move! As she concluded her performance, Cecilia tossed the flower into the crowd. I caught it. Oh, that's just but great. I did see the nobleman. Did you now? Really like to talk to him. What did he look like? Like many here. Tall, dark, masked. Know where he might be now? He gave Cecilia a small gift. A heart-shaped box. Then they strolled off together towards the refreshment tables. A heart-shaped box. Excuse me, box. madame. Okay. Monsieur, I cannot work like this. You must leave now. Yep, that's what we'll do. 